box jump. Two quick coaching notes here. Uh, you want to make sure that you're watching for knee valgus, so on the takeoff and the landing, so as you're jumping from the floor and as you're landing onto the box. You want to make sure the knees aren't collapsing in, uh, number one. Number two, uh, for a dance population, we're never going to use box jumps as a conditioning tool. This is a strength tool, power tool. So we're going to front load the workout with this. Um, I'm about to do a workout myself, so I'm starting off with uh, box jumps. Um, it's gonna, you know, you want to generally have power um, beginning in the workout. Um, high central nervous system cost to power exercises, um, but it also has the additional benefit of priming the pump for everything else that's to come. So um, watch for knees collapsing in on the takeoff and the landing, and don't use these as a, as a conditioning tool the way you might see like in a CrossFit facility. We're not going to jump off repeatedly. You see, I'm about to do, do these box jumps. I have a step for myself to kind of walk myself down. Um, the other thing is, is on the landing, if you can't land at parallel or above, the boxes are too high. So I have this, this height set for myself that's, that's extremely challenging, but I can land um, in a safe position. So that's always the rule of thumb with box jumps. You know, you're not trying to get Instagram famous with these. You're trying to train. So dancers, you have different concerns than, you know, people on Instagram trying to, I guess, get followers or whatever. You're, you're training for your art form. And so uh, to that end, we want to make sure that we're choosing a height that's appropriate for both our height, our jumping ability, etc. So this is an early off-season uh, power tool, jumping and landing. It's a little bit easier on your body than jumping and landing on the ground. So this is generally where we'll start you off um, early in the off season for a dance population. So I'm gonna do five of these. We would generally program three sets of five box jumps. See that second landing was better because it was quieter. We're trying to avoid that. Super hard impact. So three sets of five, no jumping and landing repeatedly. You want to save that Achilles tendon, not using it for conditioning. Watch the knee valgus, knees collapsing in on the takeoff and landing. And generally speaking, you want a power move like this to be early on in the workout. 